Hi, I, I'm somewhat of a history buff for World War II in a mild way, and I've looked at some of the videos that are on YouTube and some other historical sources, and I haven't found very frequent reference to um, something that I have documentation of uh, that came to me in an interesting way. Uh, it appears that at the end of World War II, the Germans were in the midst of producing or trying to get into production a rocket-powered long-distance bomber. Um, not a jet bomber. I'm aware of the existence of that aircraft and of course of the Messerschmitt 262 fighter plane, uh, but this was to be a rocket-powered bomber that had uh, the design intention of bombing New York and Washington DC. Uh, my father was a German national who emigrated to the United States in 1925. Uh, shortly after World War II, he was working at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base uh, near Dayton, Ohio, where I was raised. And uh, some of the men in the work crew had found a pile of documents that had been translated by the technical command at the base at that time. Uh, the documents were slated to be burned, and a couple of the workmen picked up some of the documents and gave them to my father and said, Here, Joe, you read German. Have a look at these. Um, among them were some documentation of... Um, this is an, uh, an examination of uh, shielded cable, uh, coaxial cable, and uh, a discussion about the technical merits of different types of coax cable. This is the... Um, the translation, and here is the original German um, document in the back. And this was a discussion of um, motor oil performance um, and different types of oil and the performance in the piston rings of the engines. And then there was this document that uh, the, the front cover is missing, but this is the document of uh, the development of a rocket engine that was to be used in a long-range bomber. Uh, this list is the uh, distribution list of where this document was supposed to go. And there are some familiar names on here. Um, here is um, Dr. Von Braun, which I presume to be Dr. Werner Von Braun, who became quite active with NASA after the war and uh, immigrated to the United States also familiar names of factories that were uh, existing in Germany and um, their engineers that were to receive a documentation about this aircraft and the development of the engine. This is uh, on the front page a description of the security measures to be used for the transfer and distribution of this document and then the uh, front page is um, this is over the uh, rocket engine for a Phantom Bomber, which is a long distance bomber, and then credited to the uh, author or the collaborator who put this together and the location of that. Um, the uh, <clears throat> document was published in 1944. There actually is a, a kind of an apology in this page regarding why this document is not up to the technical standards that uh, the engineers may be accustomed to because of the pressures of the war at that time and this was in Oberbayern Einring in August of 1944. Uh, some of the uh, documentation in here is interesting. This is a drawing, a technical drawing of the rocket engine, um, kind of a schematic of how it was to be done and if you look at the uh, documentation you can tell that it was a, a typical rocket um, engine. Uh, they had done quite a bit of research and all of the pages that follow here are extremely technical. I speak a little bit of German just from my father but uh, this is well beyond my command of German and well beyond my command of mathematics as well. Um, the cameraman for this is my stepson who's a mechanical engineer and this is familiar language to him but also quite advanced um, 
for anything that uh, he's had exposure to as well. But that gives you an idea of the research that was going on at the time to try to actually put this into uh, production. The uh, pages that I've outlined here, this is uh, a schematic diagram of the aircraft. Uh, it was intended to be 3.6 meters across at the widest point and there are other dimensions on this drawing and there is a diagram here that uh, just uh, says where the various fuels were to be stored in the aircraft and this is the chamber that the bombs were to be put in and this is uh, a cabin for the crew and a motor was to be at the back. A little more detailed here showing um, an individual piloting the aircraft and then the, the uh, propulsion or propellant tanks and then the rocket motor at the back and the bomb chamber in here. Um, the idea of this was to create mayhem in the United States because obviously there, there were no air defenses in place uh, and the point was to be able to fly over the pole and deliver bomb loads. This is a drawing of a rack or a rail that was to be used to actually launch the device. And uh, this is a diagram showing uh, purported routes to the United States and other potential targets that could be utilized for um, this aircraft to uh, create warfare. I found this rather interesting. This is uh, actually a map of New York City. Here's the East River and this is the Hudson and this is um, a zone map predicting I believe zones of destruction that could be expected with delivery of the bombs. Again, um, my German skills aren't that great. I was able to read portions of this, but my uh, Deutsch is gone sein gerostet. So if it, if I'm uh, if I've mistranslated or misrepresented any of this, I haven't intended to. But I thought it was an interesting thing that uh, I would put up on YouTube, uh, just to add another little dimension to the desperation that the uh, Nazis felt near the end of the war and their determination to um, spread their domination um, globally. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thanks.